Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of December 19 to December 25th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Aquarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing for all the new subscribers that have joined my channel, please be aware of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone telling you to contact them with a phone number or with an email or anything like that, please be aware Please be aware, those are scammers. I will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way, so please be aware not to get scammed. Please be careful not to get scammed. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Aquarius in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Six of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess, Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower, Three of Swords, Chariot, and Death. Hold on, I feel like I need a little bit more here. Let me get three more cards. All right, Nine of Wands. We have Nine of Swords here at the bottom, the Temperance card, the Lovers. Some of you are dealing with a Gemini, Pisces or Cancer or Sagittarius, Scorpio. So in regards to your energy for this week, Aquarius, in regards to love, do you feel like you're kind of very isolated and withdrawn in your energy. I feel like you've been keeping to yourself. All right. There is an indecisiveness here in your energy, Aquarius. Um, What is this chariot? Some of you let go of something here with the tower card and the six of pentacles in reverse. Some of you had some sort of breakup in a relationship with somebody and some of you are available now to head towards somebody else. Chariot and the lovers. It's like some of you have released some sort of attachment with a with another person. Um, you released a relationship here. You let go of someone. And I feel like you're in this energy of wanting to head towards somebody else. Let me just clarify, what's that chariot? I feel like you're thinking about you're you're thinking about moving towards someone or taking action towards someone. Nine of Wands, Page of Swords. Ooh, look at this. Yeah. Two of Cups. Oh, there it is. Here we go. Two of Cups, Ace of Wands. 
You're, you're, you're nervous though. Look at the nine of wands and the page of pen, page of swords. You're, I feel like you're kind of nervous here. You're feeling, you're feeling doubtful. You're feeling hesitant. You're feeling, um, fearful, but there's someone who you really, who you really want in your life. Someone who you feel a really powerful emotional connection to. And you have this strong desire to take action towards them with the Ace of Wands and the Chariot card. And the Queen of Cups is here with the Eight of Swords. Oh, you're scared to get your heart broken. Look at that, Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords. You're, you're scared to get your heart broken. Yeah, some of you are in this energy of what if it doesn't work out, you know? What if it doesn't work out? What if I'm rejected? What if this person doesn't want anything to do with me? With the Nine of Swords. You have all of these um, negative thoughts inside of your head, creating more tension, creating more nervousness. Tell me about the Nine of Swords, Spirit. Yeah, some of you are in this energy of should I go for it or should I not go for it with the Knight of Wands and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Oh, you feel, in, you feel like inspired or divinely guided with the Temperance card and the Lovers. You feel divinely guided towards someone, Aquarius. It's hurting you because you feel like there's some sort of undeniable connection that is making you feel attached to this person or feel you feel attached to the idea of being with this person. Some of you don't even know why you feel this way. With the lovers, I mean, you know, the lovers can be that type of energy of that that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Like you don't you don't know why you're acting this way. You don't know why you're feeling this way. Some of you might feel like I don't even know this person, but for some reason I can't get them out of my head. You know? And I don't even know them. But that's because there's a, a contract, you know, there's a soul contract between you and this person. You two are soulmates with the two of cups or, you know, twin flames, whichever, I don't know. But yeah, with the Knight of Wands, I feel like some of you are, are in this energy of going back and forth, whether you should pursue, pursue this person or not. You've been watching this person with the Page of Swords. You've been watching them. And you know what, what the thing is? I feel like your feelings, have, they keep growing. I feel like that's what's happening. It's like it just keeps getting stronger and stronger. You're like a volcano that's about to erupt. So I'm looking at the Tower card. It's like, uh, it's like an active volcano. And especially the chariot. The chariot can be very impulsive. So some of you are tempted to be impulsive. You're tempted to take some kind of impulsive action towards someone. Someone who you feel unfinished business with. Someone who, who you've been giving the silent treatment or they've been giving you the silent treatment. There's been a lot of silence between you two. Let's see, what's, what's the temperance card, Spirit? Tell me about temperance. Mm -hmm. 
Four of Cups in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse is the Temperance card. Do you feel like this is a missed opportunity or this was a missed opportunity? I feel like you let go of this person though with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you did let go of them for whatever reason and you do feel like it's a missed opportunity. But you might have felt like you, you were forced to let them go. But the thing is that you you're left with this you were left with this feeling of unfinished business and you can't shake it, you know, you can't shake it. You can't get it off you can't get it out of your system. And it's bothering you. It's bothering you because it's like you feel like there's something that's supposed to happen between you and this person, you know? You feel like there's something that's supposed to happen. What's the chariot doing here, spirit? Oh, look at that. Five of Swords in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. So there might have been some sort of bad, you know, bad argument with the Five of Swords. You two might have left off on bad terms, you know. There's a bad energy or, or, or a negative energy between you and this person or like there's tension or hostility between you and this person you two bumped heads with each other there was a clash yeah there was a clash of egos with the five of swords but with the page of pentacles i feel like some of you like some of you just want to like move past whatever this conflict ha whatever this conflict is that happened between you and this person. Some of you are just kind of ready to, to let it go, you know, to like, can we agree to disagree? Can we, just, can we just agree to disagree, you know? Can we just move past this? Can we, can we try again? Can we, can we find a way to get along? You know, can we at least try to be friends with each other? That's, a, that's what I feel like you're saying here, okay? Ooh, sorry. I slammed my ring on the table. Yeah, so I feel like that's what you're saying. I feel like, can we just, can we be friends? You know, you're, you're tired of this tension, you know, between you and this person. Some of you just want to, you know, at the, at the least, at the very least, you just want to, like, be friends with each other or, like, Just be be on good terms with each other. Even if it doesn't, you know, even if it doesn't go anywhere, I feel like some of you might even just want closure with the death card in reverse. Some of you might just be okay with just getting some form of closure. I don't feel like that's necessarily what you want, though. I don't feel like you just want closure. I feel like you do want more than that. But, you know, at the very least, at the very least, you want to make amends. Like, you want both of you to kind of forgive each other and let go of the hostility or let go of the tension and just, you know, separate on good terms. If that's what it comes down to. If, if a relationship is not possible, then at least that. But I feel like, again, I feel like you do want more than that with the Two of Cups. You just don't know if this person would be on board to, to try again to have a relationship with you. Because I feel like you do care about this person with the Queen of Cups. But 
you're not sure if it's really um, reciprocal. You don't know if it's reciprocated by this person. But with the Page of Pentacles, this is kind of like an apologetic energy. So some of you might want to apologize or you just want to simply um, change the energy between you and this person into something more lighter and more positive. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, hopefully that made sense to you, Aquarius. I'm going to move on to your person, see what their energy is. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. Look at that. You two are mirroring each other. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Temperance, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords, Three of Wands, High Priestess, Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, and the Tower. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius, a Pisces, Scorpio. Hmm. Well, well, look at that. That's interesting. You two have some sort of telepathic connection with each other. I can see that already. Yeah, so basically when you're stressing out about this person, Aquarius, they're stressing out about you at the same time. Whenever you think about this person, they're thinking about you. Whenever you miss this person, they're missing you. Oh boy, so you two are kind of like twin flames, I think it's what you call it. Why does this person have temperance in a re reverse though? You had it in the upright position and they have it in, in the reverse. So this person is resisting more this connection with you. Oh, so they're the blockage then. They're they're the one, they're the ones who are creating the main blockage or the main resistance here. The the greatest resistance is coming from them. I feel. Yeah, it is. Especially with the high priestess. Yeah, temperance in reverse. This person is not listening to their intuition. Yeah, their intuition has been telling them to. To reach out to you to communicate with you, to take action towards you. And they've been, they've been rebelling. They've been rebelling against their intuition. I feel like they've been trying to kind of distract themselves with the Eight of Pentacles, very focused on their work, career, their projects, responsibilities. Um, yeah, there's an energy of this person um, they let this go with the Nine of Wands in reverse. They made the decision to let this go and to just kind of focus on themselves. 
but this energy of unfinished business has been has been lingering in their subconscious subcon subconsciousness this person has a fear of commitment ten of pentacles in reverse ooh look at that with the four of pentacles and the look at that the five of swords oh boy the five of swords on top of everything Again, rebelliousness. This is an energy of rebelliousness. Hmm. Someone who, very stubborn, someone very stubborn, someone who has been refusing to step out of their comfort zone. Very defensive here, very guarded and defensive. Again, they're the ones who created the greatest amount of resistance here in this relationship. Or, yeah, they in this relationship, they've been resisting this relationship the most. Yeah, it's like this person, What they have trust issues. That's what happened. This person was looking at you like, like you didn't have good intentions. That's how they were looking at you. Like, like you weren't with them for the right reasons or you didn't want them for the right reasons. Like you were just, you're, you're out to get them. You're out to get them. You're, your intention is to hurt them. Your intention is to betray them. Like, just paranoid, you know, just someone who's paranoid. Yeah, because I mean, that that's something they came up with on their own with the Five of Swords. They didn't really have any real basis or any real evidence to make those assumptions about you. I feel like they just, that's automatic, you know, it's an automatic thing with this person. That's what they automatic, automatically think about everyone. Like, you're out to get me. You're, you don't have good intentions. You're just trying to trick me. Oh. Or you're too good to be true. There's something that you're hiding. You're, you're keeping secrets from me. You know, they just come up with all of these negative narratives in their mind, and they believe it. You know, they believe what? They, be, they believe their own assumptions. Hmm. So I feel like this, this is someone who kind of closed the door on this relationship. But then here we have the Page of Wands and the Nine of Swords with the Tower so I feel like this person has had some sort of epiphany with the tower card. What's the what's the epiphany about, spirit? What's a tower? Tell me about that. One more, one more, please. Oh boy, Ace of Swords, look at that. Two of Cups in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse with the Tower. This person didn't, okay, this person thought it was gonna be a lot easier to disconnect from you than it, than it turned out to be. Yeah, yep, that's the epiphany. That's that's the that's what this epiphany is about. They thought that disconnecting from you and walking away from this relationship was going to be easy, and it wasn't. It turned out it's not as easy as, the, as they thought. Five of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who feels empty. They feel empty inside. They feel like there's a hole. You know, there's a there's a void inside of their heart, an emptiness inside of their heart. 
or just in their life. They feel like there's a hole in their life where you used to be. There's an emptiness where you used to be and you're not there anymore and it hurts. With the Nine of Swords, it hurts. This is pain. This is an energy of pain. They didn't think it would hurt that much. They thought they could, you know, just focus on themselves, focus on their work, and it would just kind of, you know, the, the, the feelings and the, the memories would just kind of go away on their own, would just kind of fade away. They, they thought things would just fade away. Their, the epiphany is with the Ace of Swords, it's like they, they're, re sorry, they've recognized here their own lies. They, they're becoming awakened to their own lies. Oh, sorry, they, they're becoming enlightened to their own lies or to their own deception towards themselves or or their denial towards them towards this relationship towards their feelings and now they had now they feel like they're they're conflicted they feel conflicted now cuz they're in this energy of well now what do i do you know i thought this was going to be easy to to erase Aquarius from my existence, from my energy, and it's not the case, so it's like, now what do I do with the Nine of Swords? Did I clarify that? I don't think I did. Tell me about the Nine of Swords spirit. Oh boy, look at that. Seven of Cups and the King of Wands. They haven't been able to replace you with the Seven of Cups in reverse. Yikes. Yikes. Yeah, that's what, that's what has them stressed. They haven't been able to replace you. I feel like this person tried to find happiness in other places, you know? They try to find fulfillment, emotional fulfillment in other places. And it just has not been able to replace you. King of Wands. Oh, and they, they were confident. They were so confident about themselves in the beginning with the King of Wands. And I feel like this person has been humbled. Yeah. They've been humbled now. Oh boy, what's the page of wands? Tell me about page of wands. Oh, yep, look at that. Ten of swords in reverse and the eight of wands. This person wants to communicate. They want to communicate. This is someone who has flipped in their energy. Like this is some big, massive flip. They completely flipped around. They they had some they have they had a massive shift in their perception in their feelings and their opinions about everything. It's like everything they thought was the truth turned out to be a lie and turned out to just be denial on their part. And now it's like their resistance has has faded away or their resistance has been destroyed with the tower card and this is someone who now desires forward movement with you they desire communication and forward movement they want things to they they want this relationship to manifest with you they want to they want to they wanna move into the future with you. Yeah, there it is. 
Yeah, because I feel like this is kind of like a future energy. This, this person wants to move into the future with you. They want to have a future with you. But, you know, it took them a while for them to realize that, you know, to realize your worth, how, how, how valuable you are. That's also what is attached to the tower card. This person has had an epiphany regarding how valuable you actually are to them. All right. Oh, geez. This is intense reading Aquarius but I hope this resonated with you and I hope it helped you I'm going to continue now in the extended reading I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and I'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you what are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week if you're interested you can follow me there thank you so much for watching I'll see you in my next video bye guys take care